Welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to create an Android Auto application. And I will create an application, well, the simplest Hello World application you can think of. The first thing you need is Android Studio. Uh, if you haven't installed Android Studio, you search for Android Studio and uh, click the uh, download link for Android Studio and let that install. Uh, you also need to set your mobile phone to developer mode in order to download your code to the phone. To do that, you uh, go into settings, uh, about your device, and you click the build number a uh, number of times. Now you're a developer. For Android Auto, there is the very same thing you need to do for the Android app, and that is go find your Android Auto, uh, go into Advanced, and um, you need to go to Additional Settings, then you go to Version and hit that a number of times. In this emulated device, it's not possible to go into development mode, but uh, it should work on your real hardware. Once you're in Android Auto development mode, you also need to set the uh, uh, start something called start head unit server. That will be used when we have created our application and will uh, run the app on the phone and make it able to send its data to the uh, car head unit. So let's go into Android Studio then. Right, let's close that one. So let's create a new empty automotive project. Select no activity. Uh, the Android Auto application will be a service that will be run on your mobile phone and it will not show up as an ordinary application. Uh, it will be a background process or a service as it, it's called. Uh, and it will send data to the screen in the car or the head unit. So let's call this one AA. Hello. And you can probably choose let all the other stuff be as it is. You need to add some additional stuff if you don't have it already. You go into file settings and system settings, Android SDK, SDK tools, and make sure that you have the Android Auto desktop head unit emulator and also the Android SDK platform tools. So once the Android Studio has loaded, uh, we will add some items to our Gradle scripts here. First thing we need to add is the compile options. Android uh, Auto require a specific version of Java. Um, this is undocumented and this is something I found out when I tried to do this. You also need to add the uh, dependency for the Android X library like that. So we'll save that file, sync it, yeah, we yada yada, like so. And then we need to specify some stuff in the Android manifest. So you simply need to add information that you will create a service and some 
metadata about it. Uh, we need to move that one and let's have application here like that. So as you can see now, there are two red items here. Uh, Android Studio helps you quite good here. So we can click this one, create the XML resource file. Uh, let's call the file. Um, yeah, let's name it auto node. Or actually, this is the XML element you'll see when we created the file. Uh, that's probably good, like so. And we will tell this XML file that we have something called a template here. That's it. Save that file and close it. At least that one is green now. So let's go on with the next red one here and create the service. The service is the uh, background process that will run on your mobile phone and do whatever need, that is needed to be done on your phone to actually create the data to be sent to the screen. So create. let's create that Java class. Quite empty. Uh, so we will add some stuff here. Let's see if we can get help by uh, this one. Oh, I see here that import is not correct. So let's change this one to let's see if I can make this one right. This car app car app service. That's it. And let's change this one, car app service, like that. That's better. Okay, let's see what it's complaining about now. Um, so we need some stuff here. So let's do that. Um, so we got helped here by Android Studio to create required methods here. So this host validator is something that is required. It's not much to discuss. Just add this and it will work. Allow all hosts. Oh, I only need one. Uh, this is the entry point for the program. So when the program is started, uh, on create session will be called. And here is where we want to actually start our application or a screen application on Android Auto. So I will copy the magic code here. So what happens here is we create a new session and then we create a screen on our head unit. So when we need to do some imports here, let's do that. Oh, that didn't help much. Is this better? Okay, I got all the imports here, but I think the code is pretty good now. So we have the actual world, hello world screen here to create now. Let's create that Java class. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, we got something here. Yes, we want the car context here. 
So we created a new Java class here. Uh, this is just a reference to the super class. Uh, you just need to return this for whatever reason in the construct. Um, the entry point for the screen is that you create a on get template class or method um, where we will do all the interesting stuff here. So let's see if we can add all this. Yeah, import that class. Yeah, import that one too. Import that one too. And we need this one. And we need that one. I think we're pretty good. So what happens here is that this template, which is basically the screen, uh, will create a row where with a title that says hello world and under that some example text. And we will create that as a template where we have that row. And there is also a title AA hello. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's save that file. Um, we need to make the project. Let's see if it works. Looks good. As this is only a service, we don't want Android Studio to try to launch the application as there is no application on our mobile phone. Uh, because of this, we will go into run and edit configurations and launch options. We will select nothing. So what will happen when we use run automotive is it will only download the um, service to our mobile phone. Uh, I will now connect my mobile phone to my computer and uh, start the head unit service or head unit server in uh, Android Auto. Just as I go, I can run Automotive and let's see if it downloads. Looks good. Now I want to start my head unit. Um, the head unit can be started from the command prompt. Let's see if we can find that one. So to get your head unit started, uh, you need to forward data on the specific ports required. And basically you just use this command and then you start the head unit like this. And you need to check where your SDK folder is on your computer, of course. So let's see. The head unit is starting. And now I can see that my AA Hello application is here. So let's hit that one and yay, I get the Hello World. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this.